reports. Trade mission accomplished. Tony Abbott's now cleared his overseas travel diary. This trade mission has been a success. <laughs> From Beijing to Budget Day, there's one month left to finish the start of fiscal repair. Everything you earned during your life is gone. There is no money left in the bank. How do I go? I'm OK? Baby boomers and their booming offspring present a multi-billion dollar budget dilemma. Over the next 40 years, the number of Australians aged between 65 and 84 will double. Thank you for the kiss. We need to have a mature debate uh, about the sustainability of our pension system and our aged care system. In three years' time, eligibility for the age pension will start rising from 65 and is due to settle at 67 in 2023. Joe Hockey's interested in pushing higher to 70. It may be the case that my generation has to work for an extra three years. Pension costs are already growing at more than 4% a year. The number of people on it is rising, and so is the payment they get. The pension isn't linked to general inflation, but mostly to a measure known as male total average weekly earnings. The Treasurer's got his eye on that too. So we have to look at how sustainable uh, pension increases are. What's important here is that the Prime Minister is good to his word. The words Labor's holding the Prime Minister to are his own, the night before September's election. Give me a kiss. <laughs> no cuts to education, no cuts to health, no change to pensions. He said there'd be no changes to the pension. Now, if he breaks that promise, it means he's a liar and you can't trust anything he says. At $36 billion a year and rising, the pension's an obvious target for long-term savings. But it won't be the only one. The Treasurer is stressing everybody will be asked to pay for budget repair, politicians included. Greg Jennett, ABC News, Canberra.